What is Planck's constant? Like the speed of light, it is a set value that everything in an equation must conform to. However, it is not a measure of speed, but of size. While Lorenz's constant dictates how fast something can go, Planck's constant dictates how small or unobtrusive something can be. It is the minimum amount of energy that can be transferred in a given event. As it turns out, this is about 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34 joules, or i.e. it's about 6 decillionths of a joule. It's a very large number, lots of zeros. All events are composed of some number of these micro-events. That is to say, energy, which is what enables events to happen, is itself quantized. The currency of causation cannot be divided any further than these pennies of force. Hence, from Planck emerges the field of quantum mechanics, or the mechanics of the smallest possible transfers of energy. It was Einstein, in fact, who made this clear and proposed the idea that energy, or light, should be talked about in terms of individual photons, or particles of energy. But most, if not all, of what we are going to say going forward can be applied to other types of particles as well because of the energy mass equivalence. So what's the problem? The problem is that in traditional mechanics, energy, including light, is not transferred in discrete particles, but in spread out waves. And this is certainly how we experience the effects of energy. Light and heat from a fire seem to emanate out in all directions, flowing around objects, just like pond ripples flow around boats and debris. More importantly, the wave nature of light or energy can be clearly demonstrated with the double slit experiment. Take a laser, you shine it through two narrow but equal slits, and the emerging light will form a striped interference pattern on the back wall. Particles don't form interference patterns. That is a property of waves. Hence, we conclude that light comes in waves. Waves are continuous. They don't come in packets. They flow. This means that there is no reason energy cannot be infinitely small or unobtrusive. So, once again, we have a mathematical constant establishing an arbitrary limit on a previously infinite Newtonian scale. And, once again, this arbitrary limit forces everything else to warp around it. In this case, what warps is the nature of causality. Think of it this way. If light is really a series of individual photons, then how is it that light creates interference patterns? It must be that the individual particles coordinate or choreograph their motions over the course of time in order to successively build up the interference pattern. Since all of this happens faster than we can possibly process it, the effect appears instantaneous, but really it is an emergent property of the effects of countless inexplicably coordinated photons. As Einstein said, there appear to be, quote, ghost waves guiding the photons, unquote. This implies that the photons do not behave for their own sake, but in a sense, for our sake, in order to maintain for us the illusion or emergent phenomenon that energy travels in waves, much like a computer game recreating circles and curving shadows using millions of square pixels.